a pretty quiet start. In, uh, investors going to be somewhat on the sidelines today. We've got those key U.S. non-farm payrolls out in the States tonight and also that Chinese manufacturing data out today. It is going to be a nervous session and if we have a look at overnight markets we did see quite a volatile session and some big swings not only in the equity markets but also in treasuries as well as commodities. So all up it does look like the market in consolidation mode and as you mentioned Kate the biggest event on the currency as well as the equity calendar in terms of economic data releases is tonight in the US where we do see the non-farm payroll numbers being released. Now leading up to these numbers we have seen some softer ADP numbers as well as uh, the initial jobless claims spiking up last week so I guess a little bit of nerves around that number and we will also get the official PMI read out of China we are expecting to see a little bit of a softening in these numbers as indicated by the flash uh, HSBC PMI numbers so that's going to be important for our market today but all up we know that so much of our market is commodities based and commodities were negative overnight we saw gold silver copper oil prices all trading down lower while BHP ADRs were flat we did see the Rio ADRs fall by about 0.9 percent but all up a lot of investors are going to be very happy that this week is over it's been a pretty dismal May in fact the worst one that we've seen since May 2010 but all up after three weeks of losses it does look like the Australian market is going to finish in the back for the week Julia getting stock specific we're eyeing echo today the company urging shareholders to vote against <laughs> a push from James Packer for a seat on that board how's it likely to trade I don't think um, investors like it when announcements come out after hours and that's exactly what Echo Entertainment has done. It's come out after hours yesterday um, afternoon and come out with an announcement and I guess there's two parts to this announcement. The first is a $30 million write down to its international high rolling or VIP business. Now this is because its VIP marketing partner uh, Silk Star actually went into liquidation in March. So this is uh, this write down is part of that. So there's twenty two point nine million dollars that's still owed by uh, uh, through VIP clients that they're unlikely to recover all of and also seven million dollars in prepaid commissions that they're unlikely to recover so it does look like a, a 30 million dollar write down there of course the other part of this story is that extraordinary general meeting it looks like Echo has caved in to Packer and that meeting and this is really going to be a fight between John Story versus Jeff Kennett so all up we are expecting to see a bit of weakness in Echo Entertainment shares on the back of that write down but really a flaw in terms of its share price because of that takeover activity and the interest uh, by Crown. We have a look at Echo Entertainment. This is what the shares look like over the last year and you can really see that speculation on that takeover by Crown and the interest from Packer holding up the shares.